Welcome to our lecture online. What is meant when they say evaluate an expression? Well, in the previous video, we realized what an expression is. It's a summation of a number of terms that can have numbers or letters multiplied together. But when they say evaluate it, you can only do so if they tell you what the value of the unknown quantity is. In the first example, we have an unknown variable x. What is that expression equal to when x is equal to 5? What we're going to do is, just like before, we're first going to simplify the expression and then we're going to substitute the value of 5 for each x that we have. So in the first example, we can see that we have a 3x and a 2x. Those are two like terms. We can add those together. This is equal to 5x and then 4 minus 5 is minus 1. Now we can go ahead and substitute 4x, set it equal to 5. This is then equal to 5 times, instead of x, we write the number 5 minus 1, which is 25 minus 1, which is 24. So that's the expression evaluated when x takes on the value 5. Maybe they can ask us again, what is the expression when x is a different number, like minus 2 or plus 8? And then you can do it again, simply substitute that new value in for x and see what the new expression value then is. On the second example, we have parentheses. We need to get rid of those parentheses first. So we're going to distribute the minus 9 on the first and the second term. This now can be written as minus 18x minus 9. And here, since this is plus what's inside the parentheses, we can simply remove the parentheses plus x minus 8. Now we're going to combine like terms. We have the minus 18x and the plus x. We'll combine those together. This becomes minus 17x and a minus 9 minus 8 is minus 17. Now we can evaluate the expression because they told us that x is equal to 3. Therefore this becomes equal to minus 17 times instead of x we write the number 3 minus 17 which is equal to minus 51 minus 17 which is equal to minus 68 and that would be the value of the expression when x equals 3. So now you also know what they mean when they say evaluate an expression. They need to give you the value for the unknown quantity. If there's more than one, they need to give you the value for both or all three or however many there are. So substitute those numbers in and then you simply add them together. That's how it's done.